fiscal bull chips. If we listen to or watch corporate media, we heard a giant sigh of relief when the so-called fiscal cliff was narrowly averted. But as we've said, the whole shebang was a congressional creation, a work of political theater, and a false alarm to protect those at the very top, the wealthy. What is lost here is that all the hyped rap about taxes, especially on businesses, is that they've never had it so good. Back in the 1940s, do you know what the corporate tax rate was? 50%. That's right, 50%. In recent years, it's hovered under 10%. But in fact, many corporations pay nothing, zero. That's because of what writer Mark Zeppesauer calls welfare, as in welfare for the rich. In his 2004 book, Take the Rich Off Welfare, he documents hundreds of cases where corporations buy off politicians, write their own laws, and if all else fails, flee to the Cayman Islands, where millions of dollars get written off of the tax bills. Zeppesauer, writing over a decade ago, documented the fact that almost 600 banks opened up fake offices in the Caymans and over 30,000 companies. Why? To create tax write-offs. That's why. There is a fiscal crisis in America, but it's because of decades of policy of cutting taxes and the doctrine of deregulation. This was made possible by corporations renting or buying politicians. It has wrecked state and federal budgets. In other words, it has worked just as they planned it. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.